your first UFC three. How much did you feel like your back was against the wall coming into this? Uh, I felt like it was against, you know, all the way. You know, I felt like this was it, so I, I had no chance to, uh, for anything else. You know, I just saw victory. That's all I could really envision. Was there anything you did differently in preparation for this fight uh, as opposed to things in the past? Well, I, I changed camps. Um, I'm with I'm over with Matt Grice, if you know that name, at R1. He's got a gym over there in Oklahoma. So I'm there. I'm working more with my feet, footwork, and and uh, staying healthy, you know, that was a big difference from the last couple fights. And now that you have some uh, perspective on what you did before and what wasn't successful for you, do you feel like you've evolved now, you figure out how to get a win, how to sort of do the whole fight week better, the whole everything better? Yeah, I feel like I, I got more to grow, you know. Although I'm, I'm 35, you know, I'm kind of old on the other side of things for, for the sport. But, you know, I, I feel like I'm kind of young as, as, you know, and taking a lot of punishment I don't I don't know I've, I haven't had a whole lot of fights haven't been in a lot of big battles or wars so uh, my body still feels young still feel in shape and you know I'm, I'm learning a lot so and I, I think I, I got a piece of the puzzle today not not all, not all of it but you know I feel like I'm progressing do you wish you had started training sooner then or something um I don't really have any regrets you know uh, you know I wrestled for a long time most of my life and, I, and that's my background so you know um, yeah, I did want to get into it when I was a kid. I wanted to box, and my mom, my mom wasn't having that, so she thought it was too violent. So I just wrestled. <laughs> what did she think of this then? If that was she too didn't violent. like this. She didn't. <laughs> she didn't like this at all. So, but she she supports me. So. so, what did you think about your performance? Can I talk about it overall? Were you happy with it? You said it's a piece of the puzzle, but uh, talk well, I, I think it, yeah, I've got a piece of the puzzle. You know, anytime I get a W, I'll, I'll take it. So, I haven't seen the tape or anything. I felt good. Um, first round felt good on my feet. Felt a little sloppy uh, when we got on the mat and rolling around. I don't know if if it was uh, just being sweaty or slippery or or what. I just felt like I sometimes I'd losing, not have control, you know. So I, I felt a, just a whole lot better on my feet rather than on the ground. Did things go how you had managed? Uh, how you had managed to? Um, if you thought they were going to go. Sorry. Um, well, I, I thought I would win. I, I didn't know how I was going to win, if I was going to, you know, knock out TKO or something. I just envisioned winning. Um, that's really all I, I had in sight. I didn't know if it was going to be first round or third or, or what, but that, that's all my mindset was, just get the win. And coming off of those losses, how important was this win for you? It was, it was it's very important. I mean, I, I had no choice. Like I said earlier, you know, I felt like this was it. It's now or never, you know, to, you know for UFC, you know. So I'm just glad they had me back, gave me another chance to get a W in, in here. So it feels really good. I, I'm excited for it. Um, you know, I can tell a lot of people shut up. You know, or they people joke with me. You know, trying to motivate me, I guess. But you know, it feels good to get a W. And it doesn't look like you took too much damage yourself. Either. No, I, I feel fine. I felt I felt strong. I felt big. Um, I didn't feel in any danger at any time, really. You know, he came with a flurry. I think in the second. And caught me with something, um, but other than that, I, I felt pretty good. Does your mom watch your fights? You say she's not a supporter of it. Does she, she watch? She doesn't watch them live. She doesn't watch them live. She'll wait and then she'll she'll check it out later or something. So, so has she seen all of your fights, or is she pick and choose? She's. Uh, I'm not sure if she's seen them all. You know, uh, I don't know if she saw the the one where I had hurt my knee and uh, actually the last two I kind of had a knee injury. So I don't know if she saw those. She usually waits, and here's the result, and then she'll watch, you know, depending on how it, it turned out. So I was asking some of the other guys about last night's fights. Did you watch them? Do you feel any kind of spillover energy effect from that because it was such a great night? Oh, I, yeah, watching those fights were, were, was motivating. Those guys were, all of the fights were pretty incredible. You know, the, the damage that they took and kept going, it was, it was inspiring. I said, man, you know, they were, all of the fighters, I was proud of all of them. That was an awesome card, yeah. top to bottom. What's it been like, um, obviously being a part of International Fight Week and the whole build-up, uh, how much have you enjoyed that? Yeah, I've never been around anything like this. I've never seen anything like it. So this was was uh, an experience, a, a really good experience. Um, there's people everywhere, fighters. Even when I'm cutting weight, I'm seeing people from the uh, jiu-jitsu side where they got that big tournament and talking to those people. and. 
I met a lot of people out here, so it's it's really exciting. I'm glad to be a part of it. And you like the Reebok setup? I like the warm ups. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're pretty cool. I I like them. It's like uh, some pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you have an advantage because you are a little older, so you're matured and you have life kind of settled down and everything, versus someone who's 20 and has already had 62 bang up fights and their body's broken and you're still good? Yeah, I. I that's one thing I got on my side. I think is um, I'm healthy. I, I, f I really feel healthy, although I am on the you know the, the other side of the age mark. Um, but you know, I had never really experienced any injuries. I haven't had any surgeries, anything like that. Um, the last two fights were a scare with my knee injury, but um, other than that, I, I feel I feel really great. My body's feel sound, feel like I'm hitting on all cylinders. Was it an ACL, MCL? What was wrong with you? I uh, the last fight I broke. Uh, well, the other guy broke first strike. He kicked uh, the outside of my knee, and it broke a bone. One of the bones in there that connects the hamstring to the calf. Ouch. And so you keep mentioning your, um, let's say, advanced age for a fighter. Does that mean? Well, I don't want to keep it. I don't <laughs> want to keep, keep mentioning it. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to keep old. it. You keep saying you're old. So uh. no, I keep hearing that. Everybody <laughs> keeps telling me, "Oh man, you're old. When you gonna stop fighting?" Blah, blah, blah. Well, that's what I'm curious. I mean, if you did get into it late, you said you know you're a wrestler, yes. but you wish you had early. So how long I mean, are you gonna do this? I'm not Herschel Walker or anything, but <laughs> you know, and he's awesome. He's in shape. He's great, but. I don't know. I, I just feel like now is not the time to walk away. I, I don't feel like I'm too banged up. I feel great. You know, I, I don't feel like I'm 22, but you know, I, I feel like I do have some wisdom to you know that I can bring to the cage. You know, um, with it, experience. Maybe not just from being in the cage, but experience from cutting weight. So, you know, something as small as that that's re really important. You know, I can cut weight pretty good and and bounce back pretty fast without an IV. Yes, without an, without an IV. Do you think wrestlers have that great advantage? Because they're they've been cutting weight since yeah. three years old, well, at high school and everything. But then Europeans, they they didn't do any of that. Yeah. So do you think that's so going to be an advantage? It's a, it's a huge advantage. Years old, man. Well, yeah, in Oklahoma, the kids, if you're not starting at round four, then you're behind the mark. But um, I think that's a big advantage. You know, cutting weight. Knowing what your body can take, being used to the heat, and then being able, for wrestlers, you know, we compete an hour later after weighing in. So, you know, you do have to know how to bounce back and cut your weight right, you know, diet, um, and just have it bounce back quickly rather than take 24 hours. You know, we get 24 hours, which is great, but, you know, especially with new rules changes, um, I think the wrestlers are. Anybody that has a good experience cutting weight, it's going to be to their benefit. And how much do you recover in that 24 hours? Are you back to 100% or do you think you're, something's a little bit lost? Um, I've had different mixed experiences with it. Sometimes, you know, I, I feel like my legs aren't right back under me like how I'd want them to. You know, sometimes I can feel them going up and down steps. But getting a good warm-up, you know, getting the right kind of warm-up, the, the, you know, before the fight maybe a couple warm-ups, maybe early in the morning and then later on before the fight. I think that really helps me bounce back. You guys kind of got to know your own body, you know, what it, what, how it responds and, and gets back to normal. What kind of impact do you think the ban on IVs is going gonna, is gonna to take? Uh, for some, I think it's, it, it'll be a big, it could be a big change for, for a lot of guys, you know, that, that aren't used to, to uh, recovering without an IV. So, you know, I think you're going to have to really either, either change your weight class or educate yourself and maybe get some help with your diet and um, how to bring it down correctly. So, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. All right.